Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am building a house in Lunar Lakes. Now, I have had this world for quite a long time. I believe that I got it like in 2010 or 2011, something like that. And I just never, I, I, I ended up not liking it that much because it was like really out there. So I never ended up using it or um, building any houses in it until now I decided like for a while actually I've been wanting to like build some really crazy out there house and I don't know how much the thumbnail of this video is going to do this house justice but this is a very weird house and it's quite it's like because a lot of the architecture in Lunar Lakes is really out there and like impossible and I kind of wanted to replicate that so uh you know this house is defies gravity but then again this is on another planet or slash moon I don't I think it's a moon technically of some planet and yeah maybe the gravity is different here so that's why all these houses in this world can be built in such impossible looking ways now i've decided to call this house extraterrestrial house because it is quite literally from another planet slash moon so you know i thought that was appropriate and this house ends up having three bedrooms and i think two and a half bathrooms uh so yeah, and it also is just wild. <laughs> so there was a lot of constrained floor elevation that went into this house. So as you probably already noticed, I am using a lot of that. And so, well, basically the, the house is set up into four different sections and you have to go outside to get to each section. I noticed again that a lot of the houses in this world were set up kind of where you have to go outside to get to different areas. So there's a, like the, the, the Wow, like mess. I like not able to communicate very well in this video. Uh, the, the tower in the center there, that tower uh, has basically the staircase and what's going to be the front door. So your Sims can go in through the front door, and then it's just kind of like open. So like there's a front door and a back door, but then kind of like these passageways you can see that like come from that tower are completely outdoors. So there's like an archway, and then you just go outside, and then into a, through through another door into the house. So. The reason that I uh, did it that way is just because the other houses in the world were that way, and I thought it was kind of interesting, so why not? Uh, so basically, right now, I'm putting a post there because I didn't quite, I mean, it was cool to have the house floating like that, but I thought it looked a bit strange, so, and I also kind of wanted a post to go through the pool, which I'm putting in, and I initially make the pool orange, and I keep it that way, and I decided, oh, this orange looks cool, so I'll use it everywhere else in the house and or on the outside of the house. And I decided to change it later because, like, when I when I was like saving the house, I went into edit town and I looked at it and it stood out so much from the rest of the houses, and I wasn't too happy with that. So I went in and I got the same textures from some of the other houses in the world and put them on this one, so it kind of like blends in. It ends up looking a bit more weathered too, so it just looks a little bit better than it did before. And anyway, so here you can see there's the main staircase coming coming up. Oh. I never finished my idea that I was, I like, I started an idea about how it, the house is split up into different sections and I never got back to it. So anyway, I'll, I'll get back to that right now. So yeah, the house has four different sections. So there's, and they're all connected by the tower. So on the first floor, there's uh, two bedrooms and a bathroom in one section. And then you kind of go up the spiral stairs and on the other side, kind of like directly over the pool is the kitchen and dining room. There's also going to be a half bathroom and a laundry room in that section too. And then... If you go straight across uh, on the other side and go up some stairs there uh, is the master bedroom. And then if you go up the tower one more level, to the left is the living room. And then to the right is just like this rooftop area above the master bedroom. So you can kind of see the four sections taking shape here. And um, yeah, here's where I start with the orange and white. It was a bit too bright, I think. And I just didn't like it too much. But uh, also, you'll see this in the screenshots too at the end. The views from this house are really incredible, especially from like the living room area. Well, actually, all the rooms at the back, pretty much. Like the master bedroom has great views. The rooftop deck above it has great views. So does the living room and like the dining room and kitchen. It's just like because it's very cool because it's like not Earth. You know, it's not meant to be like Earth. It's like got these all these craters at the bottom. You can kind of see them there at the top of the screen. And also in the far distance is like these mountains too. It's very um. <clears throat> excuse me, it's very interesting, and, you know, it's just, it's just very different, and it's kind of fun to just, like, build a house that's completely out there, not at all, you know, like the other houses that you know, that I normally build. So here you can see, uh, I, I wanted to put, like, another freeze level above 
these um, this top level, but I couldn't because that was the I reached the build height limit, so I couldn't do that. But it's okay, and so I ended up settling with stages instead. So basically, uh, you can see there's also that roof, like the top of the tower, kind of has the roof connecting to the living room roof, so it has like this sharp angle. It's a little weird because like when you depending on the angle you look at it, it's like invisible. So like when you look at the un like the underside of it isn't there. It's just like invisible and like you can see straight through it. Uh, it's just like like a weird glitchy thing with constrained foot elevation, but I kind of wanted the two roofs to connect. So it's just the way it is. But essentially, I think the structure of the house is done. And we're going to move on now to getting in some more details. I added this kind of front area that serves no purpose other than just kind of making the house look a little bit more substantial. And... Yeah, so there's some doors, basically. So, like, there's a front door and a back door. I thought it was best to have them because otherwise it may, there might be some confusion in the game as to what the front door is. And then people, like, random sims could probably just, like, walk right into the house, which would be kind of weird. So, yeah, I put I put a front door in. But uh, here, um, yeah, I'm still working on the color. I have not yet gotten the other textures, which you'll see soon. Because I originally made the roof white, and then I changed it to, like, this brown... Or like it's like kind of like a rusted metal thing. Cause I, like, um, well, I don't think that like here. I don't know. I started that thought before I like fully knew what I was gonna say. But I was looking at the other houses in this world, and some of them have like a lot of older technology in them, despite them being like an ultra modern looking house. But I suspect that's less that about like this civilization on this moon having less technology and more about just being a cheap house. So. Yeah, because I was, like, I was considering, like, making the appliances and stuff in this house be, like, really old-fashioned, but I was like, that doesn't make sense. So I didn't do that. I used um, probably quite a few Into the Future objects as well because I thought that Into the Future objects work probably really well in this world, this environment. So you'll see all the doors in the house are, like, the kind of, like, like um, automatic, like, slidey doors that came with Into the Future that kind of, like, retract into the wall. Um, I think those are pretty cool. So I use those. And here, um, this, you, might, you can probably see right here, or you probably, well, it's already gone, but that stair that connects like the two sections on the top right of the house, or left, depending on how you're looking at it, one of the railings, I couldn't change the color of it. I couldn't like select it with a creative style, or like delete it, or clone it, or anything. I couldn't select it. So that, that one railing piece is a different color to everything else, because I couldn't change the color of it, or delete it to replace it. So Oh well, it's just the way it is. And yeah, I had some problems with the game building this house. It it literally crashed on me after I saved, so I was very lucky. Like, you'll see this later on. It's like near the end of the video, but the uh, all of the user interface just disappeared all of a sudden when I like clone I cloned something. All the user interface disappeared. So I was like, oh no. I mean, this happens sometimes. So I'm used like I know what to do. Like I just hit F5, which opens up like the side menu on the left. And I can click Edit Town, or I can just hit F1 to go to Edit Town. And Edit Town worked fine, so I was able to, like, um, save it. So I was like, okay, I'll go back in and continue building. So I went into the lot, and all the user interface was still gone. And then the game just stopped responding. And then it just, I had to force quit it. Uh, so I was very lucky, because I hadn't saved in a long time at that point. So I was close to losing almost all of this house. So that didn't happen, so we're good. But that was a little nerve-wracking. But anyway, here you can see, yeah, I went a little overboard with the orange. I do get rid of it all. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but I didn't like it. So, yeah. And uh, anyway, putting in um, the doors inside. So there's those, like, slidey doors from Into the Future, which I thought were pretty cool. So basically every door in the house is that. And also you may have noticed, like, I just added a little while ago that room, like, on the side of the house that's, like, completely floating there. That's going to be the master bathroom because there wasn't enough room for the master bathroom. So I just kind of added that on. So now I'm going to address what's coming up right now, which is going to be what I'm going to put on the countertops. So the wood, I actually put wood countertops in the kitchen, and I put this same wood color on every wooden object in the house. And you can see it here. It doesn't even look like wood. It's like a yellow green color, and it's a very strange texture, like a, cur like a curly kind of weird texture. So this is the thought behind it, and I know it's not the most beautiful thing, because you'll see I use it in a lot of places in the house. But I did it because I was looking at, like, especially one of the trees across the street. It's, like, one of the tree objects that came with Lunar Lakes. That's, like, one of the fantasy trees. And the color of the trunk 
was this color. I, 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 I chose this color to match it, and it had the same kind of texture to it, um, like the same kind of curvy uh, texture. Um, so but the idea was that, you know, they're on this alien planet, so the only wo- they're not going to have normal wood, you know, that you get from Earth. They're going to be having to use these trees. So this is what the wood from these trees looks like, and maybe they just decided not to, like, stain it or finish it. You know, well, they finished it probably, but they didn't stain it, you know? They just wanted, like, the actual wood color from these trees because that's all they have. So that's why uh, all the wood in the house is that color. And it's not, in some instances, it might clash a bit with some other stuff, but I thought it kind of was, like, a cool way to connect the house to the world and kind of, you know, be like, you know, this is why they have this kind of wood this weird wood colors because that's only the only wood that they can get or well there's some purple trees too but I didn't really want to do purple wood so I thought the yellow greenish wood was a little bit better but anyway um, that long explanation basically took up the entire kitchen portion but you saw the kitchen there and here I'm working on what is the dining room so again uh, we have the same wood color and like a lot of windows as you can see and the view from these rooms are really is really cool so You'll see that in the screenshots if you stick around for those. It's just like, it's such a different thing. Because like, I never really used Lunar Lakes before. And it just like makes the game look so different. Like it, it doesn't even necessarily feel like The Sims anymore in some in some screenshots when you look at it. It's really cool. Although the only sad thing is like if you actually play in this world, like all the cars are still like normal cars. Well, actually, you know what you could do? Because like when this world came out, it was came out like, I don't know, was it 2010 or 2011? I think it was like 2010. It was like one of the first store worlds like after um i think like after riverview hidden springs and, and um barnacle bay was like this world so it was pretty early on but so it's like way before into the future came out but I, mean, I think with into the future you can like make this world work a lot better because like you can well you can use like the into the future cars but the problem is only your sim will have like the, the into the future like hover cars and everyone else will still be using regular cars which will look a bit weird so that's the only sad kind of thing and also, for some reason, this lot that I'm working on has, like, a normal mailbox, like, the one from, like, Sunset Valley or Riverview, but all the other houses in the world have, like, a special Lunar Lakes mailbox. I don't know why this lot... I didn't custom place this lot. It was already there. So I don't know why it has a uh, normal mailbox, but it's a bit lame. But anyway, you can see on the roof here, I'm just matching the roof, basically, to the other roofs from all the other houses in the world. So it's kind of got this, like, metal, um, brown metal and solar panels, which, and I also changed the color on the outside of the house too. So I made it a, a little bit more worn looking so it's not as much of a pristine white. And I also went with um, these kind of blue lines instead of the orange ones. And I left the pool orange though because I like it. And because I saw a different house in the world that has a red pool. So I was like, I, oh, that's a cool idea. I'll do a colored pool. Cause like maybe, I don't know, they have like different colored water or the water is just clear and they just like having colored walls in their pools. I don't know. It just looks kind of alien and kind of like futuristic. So like, why not? So anyway, we're back here in the dining room. We're just doing a few more objects, basically. And that's pretty much it for the that part of the house. So uh, these main areas, not main areas, like these like areas there like um, that come off the tower, they're just empty. I didn't really have any good use for them. And they're also kind of like indoor outdoor spaces because there's archways that connect that area to like the little pass throughs to the other like sections of the house. So it's not a fully enclosed space. So I just thought it's kind of just there. Now, um, I do go a bit wild with the colors in the bedrooms. So it's not going to be for everyone, but I was going for a, th- a kind of theme. <laughs> so you know, keep that in mind. I was trying to do something different here. So we have this really interesting bedroom and my explanation behind that painting over the bed being of earth is like, you know, maybe like the people who were stranded on this planet, like had some photos of earth and then like an artist, like, you know, painted that from like a photo or something like an old photo from earth. So, you know, that's kind of what I imagined there. That's why I was like that painting. Anyway, basically that was the guest bedroom. And now we're going to move on to the kids' room. So again, it's going to be very colorful. And I kind of went for like a red, blue, and a yellow color scheme in here. So the primary colors. So we have like one bed that's yellow and red, and then another bed that's going to be yellow and blue. I'm just uh, changing up the colors here. I wasn't going to do that originally, but then I changed my mind. So 
yeah, uh, bright, very bright and colorful. But I thought that kind of was nice because especially since like the living room and like the kitchen dining room area are very like sterile or sterile, sterile and white looking, you know, they're not, um, you know, they're not like, uh, um, you know, that exciting. So I thought that it was nice to have like some rooms that were, m were more colorful. And here's the computer in the house, uh, in the kids' room. Well, you know, whatever. The kids are the only ones with the computer, I guess. So yeah, there you go. Putting in some toys. And I do actually change the wood. I, I put normal wood in that chest because I was like, oh, maybe that's from Earth. But then I was like, no, that's kind of weird. Uh, you know, it's not, not a high probability of that happening. So I changed the wood color on that later to be the Lunar Lakes wood, as I'm calling it. So anyway, here's the bathroom for this uh, section of the house, as you will, if you will. So yeah, I went for tile counters in the bathroom, so I thought that kind of was better than doing the wooden ones, because like the kitchen, like, you can have wooden countertops in kitchens, but I feel like in bathrooms, maybe not. Uh, so anyway, here I'm putting in some mirrors, pretty simple bathroom, and yeah, so yeah, it's, it's a very white bathroom as well, uh, you know, kind of going for the futuristic theme there, I guess. And um, putting in a nice, a nice rug in the hallway here and a bookshelf. Why not? But yeah. So oh, this I just put in a door for the front and back doors there, so you can see that. And I think that's it for that pod uh, or section, as we can call it. So this is the living room. This is the very top of the house. It's pretty much all. all <clears throat> excuse me again. I've been like, my throat is a little dry, and also I keep like having trouble. Like I keep like repeating words a lot. Like I sound like I'm stuttering, although I don't stutter, so I don't know what's going on with that, but like earlier in the video, I got too excited. I'm talking too quickly to keep myself, I guess, keep like my words straight. Makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what am I saying? Okay, so this is the living room. Um, here we have just some stuff, basically. And, you know, it's a, it's a big room, so I tried to keep it kind of like, uh, you know, sp like not too like empty, basically. So I kind of wanted to have some stuff in there. So here we have the, like this main section there where the TV is, is also like a little lounge area with some chairs and also a piano. You know, they can have pianos on other planets too, why not? So I also put blinds on one side just because there's no logical reason for that. Also that the nighttime in this world is pretty interesting. It's very greenish, which is kind of cool. I include some screenshots at the end of like the house at night because it looks pretty cool at night because like the pool glows orange and it just looks really interesting. But uh, that's at the end, it's at the very end. Uh, if you watch all the way till that point in the video, um, that would be very nice. But anyway, here, uh, actually, we're almost done, which is kind of crazy. Like, when I, um, basically, when I um, got to, well, actually, when I finished the furnishing, I was like, okay, so now what do I have to do? Oh, wait, that was it? I was like, oh, I finished the house. I didn't even realize it's it's not really that big of a, it looks like a really big house, but it's not really that big mainly because just a lot of it is just floating because like there's just like empty space like under like 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 the living room area or like under the se certain sections of the house you know just like there because they're so suspended in the air that the house has like a lot of height and like a lot of presence but it's not necessarily that big inside but anyway this is the master bedroom so we have a closet kind of in the middle of the room there a little sitting area over here and there's the bed and i'm also going to put in i don't even know just some stuff i guess uh, a mirror there in the corner, but yeah, that's it I think for the master bedroom and I'm also going to put in um, That's a rug there, I guess But also the master bathroom which is kind of this floating little area That's kind of coming off of the, the bedroom there, which I thought was kind of cool So yeah, the master bathroom is everything you could need. So you have a couple sinks. There's also a Standalone tub and then a nice shower there. So yeah, pretty simple uh, Putting in some mirrors here again it has that very like futuristic just very white bathroom uh, which I thought looked pretty cool. Those bathrooms would probably show a lot of, um, they'd probably get dirt, dirty pretty quickly um, because there's so, like, everything is white, like white tile. Uh, probably not great. Like the white floors, white walls, white everything. Probably not the best, but you know, whatever. Uh, so basically that's it. I think that's the whole interior done. Um, I put in some more lighting um, around this part of the house, like this kind of indoor outdoor area. And then You'll see the moment where the game nearly screws me over and crashes, or it nearly crashes, froze, and then I had to quit it because it just wasn't gonna, he just wasn't going to come back to life, I could tell. Here it was, yep, you can see like the whole user interface disappeared and then we're back after I restarted the game, so, whew, disaster averted there. And, oh yeah, here's where I was trying to fix this stupid stair railing 
and I tried removing the whole stair piece, but I couldn't put it back once I took it away because it kept saying object in the way, object in the way, and I like moved everything out of the way and it still wouldn't place. So I was like, I give up. So there's going to be this one railing on the stair there that's just a different color. It's very slight. You probably wouldn't really notice it unless if I didn't say anything, but you can kind of see it's like a little bit of a purplish color there compared to the white everywhere else. <sighs> Whatever. But anyway, we're nearing the very end here. There's not much landscaping to do because it's like a moon. So yeah, there's not much landscaping I can do. I put some like fantasy trees around, but pretty that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this house design video. I hope you um, stick around for the screenshots that are coming up momentarily. And I definitely recommend you stick around for those because they look very cool. And if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing and if you check out some of the other videos on my channel. I have plenty of other house builds there as well. So yeah, just doing the final touches here. So uh, just basically putting in these like fantasy trees around. And I'm also going to do a little bit of terrain paint stuff. Uh, it's like a Lunar Lakes mulch terrain paint that I used. It's kind of weird looking, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I put, also put it under the house there. It's kind of gross looking, but you know, whatever. So, oh yeah, up here on the roof deck, I put in these lounge chairs. So yeah, there you go. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to put in some rooftop lighting as well, just so it looks cool and futuristic. Why not? And um, yeah, also some lighting in the pool because I guess that's probably good to have. You know, you probably want... It, it actually, it makes it, look, it makes it glow, which is nice. But anyway, I hope to see you next time and I hope you all have a great day.